A trio of students from the University of Toronto have won the NFL's Big Data Bowl. They're taking home $20,000 U.S. for developing a tool that tracks and measures the pressure a quarterback faces when they have the ball in the pocket. The students say their technology, that is essentially a heat map, can easily be adapted for use in a broadcast setting, but also could be a valuable tool to help teams and their analytics departments as well. And for more on this, I'm joined by one of the team members, Hassan Enayatili, an engineering science student at University of Toronto and one of the students who created this tool. First of all, congratulations. And if you could relive that moment for us, that winning moment, describe your emotions when you heard your names announced as the winners. Thanks, Scott, so much. So for us, at least, it was really just validating like the process that we had gone through in developing our project. Our goal was essentially develop a model that will allow us to quantify pressure better for uh, teams as well as like broadcast. And when we were doing that, I think we had a very in detailed process through which we developed our methods. Mm -hmm. And then it was just really nice to be able to validate what we had done throughout that process. And I guess that, I guess that was the realization of the winning moment. Yeah, and there were teams from all around the world who had uh, submitted uh, their ideas as well. So I tried to explain it briefly before chatting with you, but I'm just the TV guy here. So give us a better recap for our viewers what it is you guys created and how exactly you did it. For sure. So often, in, and especially in football, pressure is considered to be binary. So, for example, sacks, hits, and hurries are measured relative to the end of the play. So whether or not a pressure had occurred is counted as relative, like a one or a zero. Whereas in our minds, we thought there are varying levels of pressure, especially in daily life. Like you see that pressure isn't something that's like discrete. Like it's nothing that either happens or doesn't. It's, it's continuous. You feel some levels of it, and sometimes it's more, sometimes it's less, but it's always there. So that's kind of what we were trying to develop. And how do you hope this can be used in the future? We touched on this a little bit, possibly TV broadcast, but also for the analytics departments. Where do you seeing it? Uh, where do you see it going from here? The best use for it, coaches and players, or as we mentioned, TV viewers as well at home watching. For sure. So our goal is that on TV, you'll be able to see the how pressure evolves like, over the course of a play live on like a heat, a visual heat map, and then in addition to that. Our hope is that we can extend the metrics. So we developed two metrics of like pocket life expectancy. So measuring how well offensive lines are able to protect the pocket, how well defensive lines are able to pressure the pocket. So with those two metrics, teams can evaluate how well their team is capable of protecting their quarterback, as well as scouting other teams in terms of how well they're able to perform in the same capacity. And what was it specifically that got you guys on this idea? I think we read a few papers that had essentially been trying to quantify what pressure was in football, and we found that it wasn't really sufficient for what pressure really is. And so when we developed our processes, we saw that there was this big gap in terms of how you can measure pressure, and we kind of just wanted to fill that, and I think that made our project stand out. And so to walk us through this uh, NFL big data bowl, teams from all over the world with their ideas, different ideas, what was that experience like for you guys, interacting with everyone there, including representatives from the NFL? No, it was an amazing experience. There were people from all over the world, including Japan, the United States, all over the place. So I think to be able to meet all these data scientists who had all been working within the NFL's like, scope and trying to understand that, I think that was a really rewarding process. Also, being able to chat with teams, you get to learn exactly what goes into their decision-making process, how your work fits in with that. So I think that was really important for us. All right, fantastic. And amazing work by all three of you guys. Hassan Inayatili, University of Toronto student. Congratulations on this. And uh, thanks so much for breaking it down for us. Thank you very much. Appreciate your time.